What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So, going to a commercial space where it's like 84, 85 in the space and it's just not maintaining temp. They'll shut it off, turn it on. It'll work sometimes, it won't work sometimes. So, we're gonna get to that space and see what we can get resolved for the customer. Hopefully today, which would obviously be the ideal scenario. And yeah, let's, let's tackle it, see what they got going on. If that intrigues you and you like the content like that, if you could just smash the like button, consider subscribing, bring you all kinds of goodies. So anyways, Let's see if there's anything we can find that's kind of cold in this thing to run so hot. The compressor sounds a little bit sweat back. Don't lose your seal. Look at that coil though. And I don't think there's any water out here. I'll have to find some water. That coil is atrocious. Notifications. Oh, yeah, look at that head pressure. Show sure enough. I mean, there's plenty of juice in there. It's just, I mean, it's that's actually really low considering it's 84 in there right now. Um, then obviously, that's really high for R22. R22, so let me try to locate some water around here, maybe if I can. I'm gonna go inside and take a look at what it might look like in there as well. Always had a way to make it work and find another way. Now that bitch ain't even running. Oh, fucking high head. Oh, fucking bitch, bro. Fuck you. Fucking pieces of shit. All right, well, <laughs> I done knocked out all the power to his building when I did that. Uh, I really hate these fucking disconnects. So, it tripped the main breaker going to the whole building. Um fucking piece of, these are the, the worst fucking disconnects so what i'm gonna end up doing is buy, probably just gonna bypass this for now to get it right uh i'm gonna redo the wires they look crappy anyways and i'll make sure obviously that this thing is 2001 i'll make sure this thing is at least running uh came here to clean these coils did that and yay so i'm still gonna clean the coils and just get this thing jerry rigged stupid so these will be our terminals here and we're dead Yeah. Uh, 
I'll do for now. Clean up all this crap. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna also just spray this coil down. So people will at least see that, right? For what it's worth. a little bit better than what it was looking like um, without having the proper shit, you know? So, yeah, let me go ahead and turn it back on. Um, and I'll double check uh, everything. I think, you know, the coil inside's pretty nasty too. Um, I don't know if I had that, but I'll show, I'll show you, I'll show you. So the, the one on the inside is pretty nasty as well. And the blower wheel, so. 23 year old system, kind of, I wouldn't say neglected, it's not taken care of. It'll have those issues, so. This thing's pretty awesome. If y'all don't have one, it's good, I guess, to have, just for the sake of having. And that'll conclude today's video. So I had to tackle that real fast. Uh, got the sprayer, cleaned the coil, brought the head pressure down, uh, wire nutted the, the disconnect, you know, just bypassed it for now because it's what I could do. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Joining me for a service call. I like just rolling out service calls or maybe day in the life, get used to me probably get, well, so I'm probably gonna start dropping more like tool videos and veto bag videos only because it's probably getting ready to slow down pretty substantially and I just wanna be able to continue to roll the content out. I'm probably also gonna roll out more like business oriented stuff um, and just, just talk about the ins and outs and behind the scenes. I know I've mentioned I'm gonna do kind of like a, uh, a call tracking type thing where I can show you guys how many calls of X, Y, and Z I did. I mean, I'm very transparent. I'll tell you what the prices are of certain jobs that we do, jobs um, that we lost bids to, things like that. And we'll just, we'll just dive deep into it and, and show you what it takes to, to run a business, right? Um, you know, having others help that's more their lane is, is really helpful as well, but I'll give you from my perspective, a technician's perspective, the best advice I can give you guys and hopefully it just translate and if you have questions, I'm an open book. I'm transparent about that. I'll just keep it a keep it a buck with y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the ramble. Smash the like button. Consider subscribing. All my subscribers, y'all already know. I appreciate y'all. And I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Later.